In this lecture, we are going to discuss a very common problem in all areas of science and engineering, which is solving linear systems. Let's motivate this lecture with a real problem. So it goes like this. The admission fee at a small fair is $1.50 for children and $4 for adults. On a certain day, 2,200 people enter the fair and $5,050 is collected. How many children and how many adults attended? So in order to solve this problem, we're going to create two variables, x1 and x2, to represent the number of children and number of adults, respectively. Translating the word problem into math, we get that x1 plus x2 is equal to 2200, and 1.5x1 plus 4x2 is equal to 5050. We know from our math studies that, since we have a system of two equations and two unknowns, that we can solve this problem. Of course, if we let x be a vector containing x1 and x2, this becomes a matrix equality. We call this kind of problem a linear system. Luckily, we've already covered all the tools we need in order to solve such a problem. As you know, the solution to this is to just multiply both sides by a inverse. We get that x is equal to a inverse times b. Unfortunately, this is not how you should solve this kind of problem in code. As you recall, I said that the inverse uses an algorithm to find its solution. It turns out that this algorithm is both slower and less accurate than it needs to be. For reasons which are outside the scope of this course, linear systems can be solved using a different algorithm that is both faster and more accurate. That algorithm is implemented in the np.linouch.solve function. Thus, whenever you have an expression of the form a inverse times b, you should not literally type this into NumPy. Instead, you should always use np.linouch.solve. So let's try this in code. So we're going to start by creating our matrices. So that's a equals np.array 1, 1, 1.54. b equals np.array. 2250. Next, we're going to apply the solve function. So that's np.linalbs.solve ab. And we get the answer 1500 children, 700 adults. So pretty easy overall. Now, just out of curiosity, you may want to try this the bad way, which is to use the matrix inverse method. So let's give that a try. So that's np.linalge.infa.b. All right, and it works. Keep in mind, however, that this is a very small and simple problem. Sometimes your problem might be thousands of dimensions and possibly more, in which case you should definitely not use this method. 